Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are uh, okay with you. You had a good night's rest. I was on call last night, and so I was out till uh, early this morning and uh, did come home and was able to get some rest. Uh, but sorry if this is a little late. Let me put this uh, on from the book of Matthew in chapter 25. I know we read some of this here a while back, but just something that I want to read from the story of the parable of the talents um, where the uh, head of the house is a man traveling to a far country and he calls his servants and he delivers to them uh, his goods and he gives uh, one five talents, another two and another one and he tells them um, that they would uh, not only as they receive these talents that he would have them to trade them some would trade them and uh, make other talents with them and so we read the story here the last time i read this to you not long ago i read you the story where uh, the one that had five went and he added to that the one that had two added and the one that had uh, one hid his in the ground and I want to read to you, it says that he, and so in verse 20, uh, in verse 19 rather, and after a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. So he, that he that had received five talents came and brought forth other five talents saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, well done. Thou good and faithful servant, thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Uh, that whole uh, discussion there, that whole um, parable, Jesus is um, showing them what it will be like for those who will enter in and what it will be like for those who do not. Now, um, I I think of this often, and somebody mentioned it the other day, one of the worst things to ever hear would be, depart from me, thou worker of iniquity, uh, depart from me, I never knew you. Uh, you know, the scripture says that there would be some that would say, didn't we cast out devils in your name? Um, you know, I believe that there will be people that have went to church for years uh, that will stand before the Lord not prepared to meet him because sometimes people think it is going to church that does it. It's, a, it, it's an act of acting like a Christian. It has been said that God doesn't need actors. He needs genuine people who repent of their sins. So, so what would it be if you stood before the Lord today? What would you hear him say? Would you hear him say, depart from me? Would you hear him say, welcome in thou good and faithful servant? And if you hear him say uh, that, don't get me wrong, it's not going to be because of all the deeds that you've done. But if you hear him say, welcome in thou good and faithful servant, you will hear him welcome you in because of the blood of Christ that has been applied to your life. Let me sing this song. I'm not sure. I think probably I may have sang it before. My dad used to sing this years ago, but we'll give him a shot. The preacher told about his love, about his saving grace. And how he came from heaven On Mount Calvary took my place He told of how he hung there Died there in my stead And as I turned to walk away Here's the words the preacher said what you gonna tell him when you see him face 
to face But you say you refused his love He didn't take your place What you gonna say, my friend When he looks your way What you gonna tell him On Judgment Day I left the church that evening Not knowing what to do The preacher's words rang in my ear Each one I knew was true I knew someday I'd meet him that his face I'd see the words of that preacher man kept coming back to me what you gonna tell him when you see him face to face will you say He didn't take your place What you gonna say, my friend When he looks your way What you gonna tell him On Judgment Day We never know When Christ will come again If by chance we're called away Before time should end Before that great and dreadful day Decide, friend, what you do The words of that preacher I now ask of you What you gonna tell him When you see him face to face Will you say you refused his love He didn't take your place What you gonna say when he looks your way What you gonna tell him On Judgment Day Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us, Lord And I thank you for the opportunity to serve you, Lord I pray that you would bless, Lord, each and every one that watches this, that hears this. God, maybe there's someone that watches that is not in a relationship with you, has never uh, been born again. God, I pray that you will help them to open their eyes. God, I pray that you will open their eyes, help them to see that they need uh, to repent. They need to be born again. We love you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. If you watch tomorrow, as I say every week, you will see our church service. And then, of course, Monday's a holiday. I'll be off, but uh, I'll be here. So God bless you. Have a great weekend.